So I've got this polarizer set up um, so that it is, let's see, only letting the vertically polarized light through. And you notice if I hold it in front of this projector, um, you notice that it looks uh, purple. Um, the light that's coming through is, um, is purple. What's happening here is the red and the blue light are actually able to get through the pickets and what it's doing is blocking the green light. So you'll see if I turn this 90 degrees, now it's letting the green light um, come through. So the green light happens to be oriented in this horizontal plane and the red and blue light, which together make purple, happen to be oriented in the vertical plane. Uh, so you can see if I rotate this thing 90 degrees, you can see the color changing and what comes through. Now another interesting thing you can do with this is, of course, you can see if I take uh, this polarizer oriented vertically, this one oriented horizontally, letting the green through, if I bring them together, you can see that they're um, just, that they're blocking all of the light. Whereas if I turn this one around this way, you can see now I'm letting the um, vertically polarized blue and red light through. If I take another one of these uh, pieces of plastic uh, that you see here um, and put it um, behind, right, you see, of course, it gets a little darker because now the light has to go through well, two pieces of plastic instead of one. Um, but if I rotate this one relative to the other, you see that it completely blocks the light out. So one way to think of these things is um, you can almost think about it like a fence, like a set of pickets. And if you orient the the polarizer such that say the pickets are like this, then what happens is light that has, let's say it's a, it's electric vector oscillating in this direction, um, that light is able to get through. But if it's oscillating in this direction, it's not able to get through the pickets that are like this. Um, and so then the idea is that light that's coming in from the outside is what's called polarized in a huge mixture of directions or basically what's called, called unpolarized. And if you put a filter in front, what it does is it blocks out all light except for that which is able to well, get through the pickets because of the way that it's oriented. Okay. Well, then if you take a second polarizer and cross it, you've now prevented light that's oscillating this way from getting through and light that's oscillating from that way from getting through. Um, and so then you end up blocking it out. So let's take a second look at that. So if I rotate this, um, you can see that, that blocking out effect. Now, why do people, um, why are polarizers useful? When, as it turns out, when light bounces off of a surface and reflects, um, that's called glare. Like if you're a truck driver or something, or a um, fisherman like them too, because light can glare off the top of the, uh, the, the river, the lake. Maybe they can't see the trout. And so um, as it turns out, that unpolarized light that comes in, when it bounces off of a surface, it will actually get polarized in, in this direction, okay? And so what you'd like to do if you want to cut out the glare is you'd want to um, orient the pickets this way um, to block that glare, if that's your goal, is to block the glare. Well, we can see that effect with this polarizer. Um, if we just kind of look down at the table there, you can see in this orientation, looking down at this table, you see this bright, the table looks kind of bright, that's the glare from outside. Notice if I rotate it, that's blocking out that glare and you see the black table. Okay, so these are, these are really useful for people when they're driving to keep light from uh, the glare from horizontal surfaces, um, to keep it um, blocked out. 